guys. So today should be pretty, I mean, I've been working hard to try to make this class pretty easy. This is gonna be really easy. You should have done, as soon as I can figure out where my mouth is, there you go. You should have done your warm up already. Remember, it's just 10 minutes. Then business taxes, right here. We're gonna just do a quick intro article. So you're just gonna read this article. So that's step one. Give me three, or five, three to five important things and then three to five questions you still have. That way I know what kinds of things to find out and put together for an assignment for you. Because I think a lot of you are probably gonna start your own business, even if it's just a side business. It might be a side business of, you know, I don't know, you guys do welding, so I don't know what you build when you do welding, but you might do a side business of welding besides working for a full company. You might do a side business of construction. You might even do, I know my robotic students could probably even do like a side business of computer repair kind of stuff. So if you're gonna start a side business, a lot of times if you stay below a certain amount of money, like how much you make, you don't even have to pay taxes or report it. So. Can take my phone and take a picture and submit it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for asking. Okay, so you're just gonna do this quick reading and then you're gonna answer it in a text box. And then when you're done with that, There's a pretty simple assignment. You're making, we're, we're thinking through a business model. Now it's not gonna be a full business model, but we're just gonna pretend that you and your friends start a moving company. A lot of high school students slash college kids start moving companies when they are young because you're strong and have energy and us old people are done. So <laughs> um, think about it. What would you need to start a business for a moving company? What would you actually need to buy? Okay, so you're going to need a moving truck. What else would you need? A trailer. Maybe a trailer. What else would you need? People. People. What else do you need? Have you guys ever moved before? No. Okay, I'm going to pause it right there, and I'm not going to type it down, but... There's a lot of things you're gonna need when you start a moving company. When people, when I pay someone to move me, I expect them to have furniture dollies. Do you know what a dolly is? Yeah. Okay, great. So you're gonna need dollies. Do you guys know what furniture pads are? So, yeah, so furniture pads are like big blankets or like foam blocks that go on corners and stuff and protect it from getting scratched or beat up when it's in the truck. A lot of times they'll expect you to have boxes and wrap and bubble wrap and all sorts of stuff. So that's a whole bunch of stuff that could go in your cost column. Revenue, how are you going to make money? Uh, by uh, charging people. Yes, but how are you going to choose how to, like, are you going to charge someone who has a mansion the same amount as a one-bedroom apartment? No. no. How are you going to figure out how much you charge them? Call other businesses. Are you are you pricing per square foot? Are you pricing per hour? Are you pricing per weight? How are you choosing the, how you're going to charge? You follow me? I would do a little bit of a combo of all three. So for me, I would do price per area, uh, like square footage. I would also do extra for large items. Like, for example, I have a piano. I had to pay, it cost me 350 bucks for movers to move all my apartment, and it cost me another $300 to move my piano. You follow me? So extra for large items. Yes, I play the piano. Um, do it. It's, it's my, it's my de-stress moment. I love it because you can play as loud and as hard as you want and people think you're classical. <laughs> like, oh, they're so classy. No, man, I'm just pissed and I'm taking it out. Okay. You guys, what else, how else would you charge? What if it's, what if, what if it's far away? What about distance, right? Cause what's it gonna cost you to tra travel? You know what I'm saying? Distance would matter per mile, right? What about during busy season versus not busy season? 
Okay, you could do holidays. I'm going to tell you that 99% of the people who move, move in the summer. Do you want to be outside when it's 110 degrees outside moving? Oh. Okay, so I would charge peak season. You would charge more? I would. Okay, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip that on its head. It is about helping the community, but it's also is it helping the community if you're burning yourself out and you need other people to come constantly take care of you? No. no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're working hard, you need to have you know set times, etc. Okay. So there's a lot of things over here that I didn't list. So for example, the furniture pads, the bubble wrap. I see you with your phone. I see you trying to take a picture, a sneaky shot. I, I can't see them. Then come closer. Okay. But that's that's kind of what I want you guys to start thinking about is we want to be able to start thinking about and breaking this down into how things work. Now, what about, do I need to come back to this in a minute after I let you guys do your reading? Yeah, I'll let you do the other assignment, then we'll come back to it. Okay. Can we circle back to this, y'all, or still no? All right, I'll pause again. Good, all right. So I think that you guys can handle adding some more things in here, like furniture pads. Do you guys know how to add in more more rows if you need more rows? You just highlight, right click, and usually you can just scroll down and do rows below. So for example, boxes, bubble wrap. I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically like saran wrap for all your stuff. So I'm gonna say plastic wrap. They wrap all the stuff with it. You're gonna probably need some straps too, huh? Probably gonna need some straps. Also, I'm gonna point something out. You're gonna need to be able to pay for gas. Let me bubble. You're gonna need to have gas. Are you gonna have to pay your friends or whoever's working with you? Yes, you gotta pay your work. So when you say people, remember you need to pay. Are you gonna pay by the hour or by, or by the job? By the job. I would pay by the hour if it was me. Okay. Um, gas, what about maintenance on the car, on the big truck? You guys follow me? I can't spell, but that's important. Okay, if it was me, I mean, I am not starting a moving company. I don't want to do that. But there's actually a moving company here in Waco that's called, I think it's like College Hunks or something. And they, it's literally college guys from Baylor who got together and started their own moving company. Um, I would definitely charge for how big that however much stuff you're moving, you know, mm -hmm. I would definitely charge extra for big items, things like a piano. What else would be a big item? Mm, appliances. What about having to go upstairs, downstairs? I think it just comes with the job. I think it does too, but if I have to move someone from a, to a third floor, you know, third floor story, oh, man. that's, I'm, I'm charging more for that. Yeah. I would definitely charge extra for stairs. Cause that's harder. It takes a lot longer. It's a lot harder. Okay, I would 100% charge extra for that. Now I'm not saying go crazy because if you price yourself out of the market, do you guys know what I mean when I say price yourself out of the market? So exactly, so expensive no one can afford you or want you. Mm -hmm. 
So there's a lot of things that I would charge for here. I would absolutely charge for supplies, like boxes. I would charge for packing for them. So I would have a service fee for packing. Some people don't pack. They literally have the movers walk in, the movers pack everything for them, and the movers unpack everything for them. I have only ever seen that like twice in my life when people when the the job they were moving for paid for it. Does that make sense? The rest of the time, I've always seen people have friends and family come help them pack everything up. Do you need me to zoom in a little bit? So price per square footage. So you guys are in, so I'm pausing. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. Okay. Supply and demand. With the moving company, what would be considered the supply and what would be considered the demand? What are you selling at the moving company? Your business. Your help. Your help. Okay, so you're selling the service. You're selling the actual moving company. You're selling the service of moving. Now, are you the only moving company? No. Okay, so the supply here would be moving companies. because those are the things that are offering the same service. What's the demand? Who's gonna pay for moving companies? Who's paying? Huh? Customers, customers but who's your customer? The Anyone who's moving. You follow? Okay, when you first start a business, this is super, super hard to start a business. How do you get the word out? Uh, yes, but how? Are you gonna buy a commercial? You can buy an ad on the radio. It's true, but if you don't have any reviews, is anyone gonna wanna hire you? No. So who could you get to hire you first? Friends, Friends and family. I'm gonna tell you something you don't wanna hear. I would never hire young people to be my movers if there were only young people in the crew. So if you didn't have a mom or a dad there kind of watching over stuff, I would never hire it because have you guys ever owned expensive things? Mm -hmm. Okay, have you ever owned a couch of your own that you bought yourself? No, I don't think anything. Pardon? I don't think anything. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever owned expensive art? No. Do you have a clue how expensive dishes are? Mm -hmm. Okay, so because you guys are young, personally, I wouldn't, like, I know you, that's different, but if I didn't know you, I'm not gonna hire someone I don't know who's young to move my stuff that's expensive. I'm not gonna trust that you would be taking care of it. But if you have like a mom or a dad or someone a little bit older, that's gonna be like, hey, be really careful with this. This is an antique. This is, you know, like, and like is really careful with my stuff. I'm gonna hire you. But if it's just young people who are like, eh, I'm strong. I'm gonna throw it in the back of the car. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna, like, eh, no, no thanks. You guys follow what I'm saying? So start with friends and family. Listen to the feedback you get. You probably don't want to hear it, but listen. Okay, fixed business cost versus variable business cost. Fixed business cost is something you pay one time or not like every time, okay? So for example, if you ran a store, your rent would be a fixed cost. You have to pay rent every month no matter how much money you make, right? If we go back up to our cost list, okay? Moving trucks, do you have to buy a new moving truck every time? What about a trailer? No. 
What about paying people by the hour? Do you have to pay them every time? Yeah. Okay. What about furniture pads? Those are like big blanket things. Do you have to buy new ones of those every time? Uh, no, not, no, not really. You can use those for, for years. What about boxes? Yeah. Definitely need new boxes, right? What about bubble wrap? Same thing. Need more. Plastic wrap, you'll need more. Straps, do you have to buy new straps every time? Yeah. What about gas? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what about maintenance at the truck? Sending some money aside, okay? So fixed. Which ones of those things, so over here at the fixed one, which one of those things did you only have to buy once? Yeah. Straps, what else? What else? What else? Trailer. Trailer. Mm -hmm. And I think those are really your fixed costs there. Okay, so these are the things you buy once or not very often, right? What are your variable costs? Things that you have to pay for every single time. Maintenance, Maintenance on the truck. What else? Bubble wrap. What else? Boxes. What else? Gas. Gas, absolutely. There's one more that we're really missing that. Yeah, paying people. Because some people you won't need bubble, bu bubble wrap or boxes with, but you're going to have to have gas, you're going to have to have hourly pay, and you're going to have to have maintenance costs no matter what. You follow? Yeah. Okay. So I think that's it on the assignment. When you're done, go ahead and save it and submit. Make sure you have your name on it, please. And thank you for working hard.